Hi, everybody. Welcome to BPL Presents Magnolia Tree, a celebration of spring and friendship by the Brooklyn Public Library. My name is Susie Shelton, and I'm here in my living room in Brooklyn, along with my dog, Penny, to celebrate with you a brand new song and music video called Magnolia Tree, and to celebrate spring with some of my friends. Today, my special guests are Little Miss Anne from Chicago and artist Jackie Land and her daughter Nova from Dallas, Texas. They'll be here in just a little bit to share their music and their art with you. And Jackie and I will be talking about how we collaborated on the video of Magnolia Tree. So let's go ahead and get started with some music. I have my ukulele here today for this first song, and it's a beautiful day here. And it's also spring, so we're going to start with a song called It's a Beautiful Day. It's a beautiful day, I wish I could play Behind my house, outside with my friends It's a beautiful day, so what do you say? Do you want to come over so the fun never ends? It's a beautiful day, ba-ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba-ba sun shines on my face in the grass it tickles my toes you spy a butterfly and it lands right on the tip of my nose clouds look like cotton balls and the skies as blue as the sea i turn to take your hand and your hands are already reaching out for me it's a beautiful day, I wish I could play Behind my house, outside with my friends It's a beautiful day, so what do you say? Do you want to come over so the fun never ends? It's a beautiful day, ba-ba-da, I feel like someone has set me free Free to run, free to jump, free to just be me. So nice to share this feeling with you. Bees buzzing around the flowers and buttercups dancing the breeze. You tell me funny jokes, you know laughing always makes me sneeze at you. Bells ring from the ice cream truck and we've got a few dollars to spare. Race you to the top of the hill and I know that you will beat me there. But I don't care. It's a beautiful day. I wish I could play behind my house, outside with my friends. It's a beautiful day. So what do you say? Do you want to come over so the fun never ends? It's a beautiful day. ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba ba It's a beautiful day. ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba ba It's a beautiful day. ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba ba It's a beautiful day. ba ba da ba ba da it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching. If you're just tuning in, this is BPL Presents. My name is Susie Shelton, and I'm here from Brooklyn, New York, celebrating spring in honor of a brand new song and music video called Magnolia Tree. Now, Magnolia Tree was actually originally written last spring when my son was home from college um, during quarantine time, and we decided to write this song together. And this song is based on an actual tree that grows in his dad and stepmom's garden. And it's a beautiful magnolia tree. And if you've ever seen magnolia trees here in New York City, they have beautiful flowers of pink and they have beautiful leaves of green. And that's what we wanted to capture when we wrote this song. So this is Magnolia Tree. <laughs> Oh, 
would you like to sit with me under my magnolia tree? The leaves are green, the flowers are pink, and the sky is blue. Take my hand and come with me under my magnolia tree. We can jump and play and laugh all day, just me and you. Magnolia tree, magnolia tree, when will we see? Your beauty blooms just once a year, so would you like to sit with me? Under my magnolia tree, the leaves are green, the flowers are pink, and the sky is blue. Whistle! To share the music video with you in a little bit towards the end of our show. I also can't wait to introduce you to my special guest. And my first special guest is actually Cinnamon Bear. And Cinnamon Bear has a couple jokes for you. So let's hear from Cinnamon. Hi, Cinnamon Bear. I have a joke for you. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Give up? A gummy bear. <laughs> okay, your turn. How do you catch a fish without a fishing rod? I don't know. How? <laughs> with your bare hands. Now that's funny. Thank you, Cinnamon Bear. That is very funny. Um, next, I'm going to introduce my first special guest. She is coming all the way from Chicago. She is a singer, songwriter, and children's performer who has won many awards. She is also a first-generation Filipina-American and my dear friend, Little Miss Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi, Susie. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for being my special guest on Magnolia Tree, our celebration of spring. Yay. Thank you for having me. It's so great to see you. And you're all the way in Chicago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're all the way in Brooklyn. I'm all the way in Brooklyn. But it feels like we're right here in my living yeah. room. I know we just heard a joke from Cinnamon Bear. So yes. I was wondering, Anne, do you have any jokes? I do, but I don't know if I can top cinnamons. That was pretty good. <laughs> okay, here's my joke. Are you ready? Should we put it up on the screen? Okay, here we go. What does a cloud wear under their raincoat? Hmm, I don't know. What does a cloud wear under their raincoat? Get ready for this. Drum roll. Actually, I do have a drum. <laughs> 
Here we go. Thunder That is a great joke. I love it. I love it. Especially appropriate for spring. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what have you been doing this past year? I know you've been working very oh, hard wow. on... Besides Lots watching different- on Netflix, I have yeah. been <laughs> I have been working with Dean Jones on an album called Twenty Eight Days. Yeah, yay! And I'm really excited because it's good. Yeah, thank you. It's gonna come out um, May seventh. Oh, amazing! And I'm gonna have a little virtual show at five p.m. ET, and I think you're gonna be on it. I and- would love to. Yes. yes. But the album is set to come out, and, and it's about togetherness. It's all it was recorded all by at at home oh, remotely, great. and so I'm really excited. I have some great guests on there too, like you and yeah, Eleanor Moon Park, Tommy Sulati Shepherd, Shepherd, and some other great Francis Francis England, some other great um, family artists. So. And how many songs are on your new album? It's funny you should say that. In my whole adult life, even when I was in grown up bands, I always did ten songs. <laughs> And so 10 songs, but I don't know why this year was a different type of year. So I'm mm-hmm. like 11 songs. Wow. I've never done not 10 songs. So That's great. So you have the bonus. And we're also going to share one of those songs on music video form yes. today, Safe at Home, which we'll share after you perform 28 Days. Yeah. All right. Well, take it away, Anne. Let's hear that song. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, this song is called 28 Days, and it's a call and response song. And when I say 28 days, and at home you can say 28 days. And his song is about rebuilding something that you thought was lost, whether it's hope or whether it's something that you can rebuild it back. And I'm going to go ahead and get my um, my track ready here. And we're going to, and you can do the movements along with me. Here we go. for 28 days 28 days 28 days and I've been pouring concrete for 28 days 28 days 28 days I got a shovel and I got dirt I got water my back don't hurt Woo! And I've been sawing this wood for 28 days. 28 days. 28 days. Yeah, you got it. And I've been turning these screws for 28 days. 28 days. 28 days. I got a saw and I got wood. I got screws for all that I do. Woo! So I know. <laughs> and I've been painting these walls for 28 days. 28 days. You got it. And I've been moving us in for 28 days. 28 days. 28 days. I got paint and I got a paintbrush. I got a rug and feel so lush, lush. Woo! And I've been making a home for 28 days. 28 days, 28 days. Been spending it with you for 28 days. 28 days, 28 days. 
I got food and I got water. I got love and I got you. Woo! Thank you. I just bought one of these things and I thought I'd try a little harmonica. I love that. You know, that's what one good thing about um, this past year is I think a lot of people have been trying new things yes. that they might not have had time to do. So I love that. And tell us a little bit of, more about the song. What led you to come up with 28 Days? Well, thank you. I'm so happy you asked me about that. I was I was at home and it it was during the lockdown and I was sitting at home with my uh, ukulele and I was just like, I've been home. I've been sitting at home for 28 days, 28 days. I was a little bit, I have to, you know, I was a little down and I'm sure a lot of people were a little down. Yeah. And as things got better, I um, got a little better and we saw a little hope. I wanted it to be a positive song and I wanted it to be about rebuilding something that you think is lo is, is lost. And honestly, my, my, I was talking about democracy for me mm. and, um, but some people it might be hope and it's some right. people it might be something else when you think that it's not there anymore and that you start to rebuild. And that's then, great. Yeah, so it's about hope really. It well, is. maybe it's not hope. <laughs> and it is, it's a, it's a very upbeat and happy and hopeful song and I love it. And that kind of segues into the next song that we're going to share with you, the music video, Safe at Home. Can you talk a little bit about that before we share that with our friends? Well, a lot of songs that I write are sometimes aimed at the parents and it is aimed at, this song was a bit aimed at the parents and the kids. And it's really about that we can thrive at home. And it was when the lockdowns and the pandemic first started. And it was about how there's different things we can do to nurture kids at home and for it not to be a, a negative thing to be at home, but for it to be a positive thing that we're at home a lot and that how many things we can we can do while we're at home. So I love it. And I know I noticed also in this video that you had a lot of friends send in some video clips to yeah. share with this video. So we're going to see some families together and how they were coping and how they were making the best of this situation last year. So let's go ahead and share your video safe at home. Safe at home, we can be warm and cozy, and be safe at home. 
Aww. So beautiful, Anne. Oh, thank you so much. And I'm excited about the magnolia tree. Thank the you. video is so lovely. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can't wait to share it with our friends. And Magnolia Tree was also written last year during quarantine when I was home with my son who was home yeah. from college. So Sebastian and I sort of tried to make the best of that situation too and wrote a new song for spring. And I'm happy and grateful that I'm able to release it this spring. So Yay. yeah, that worked out great. And yeah, I can't, I think people are going to love it. So thank you. And thank you so much, Anne, for being a special guest on our celebration. And we'll see you again soon. And we look forward to the release of your new album coming on May, May 7th, May 7th, May 7th. Yeah. Wonderful. Right before Mother's Day. So, and thank oh, you so perfect. much for always being an inspiration to me. I appreciate your friendship and I appreciate everything that you do for the children. So thank you. Aww, so much. Thank you so much, Anne. I feel the same with you and it's great to connect this way. I know that in the past we've been able to perform in person at the Brooklyn Public Library. And so hopefully moving forward, we'll be able to do that again soon. I hope so. I hope so. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Bye. Thank you, Anne. That was so great to see you and to hang out together. Um, it does remind me of a song about spring since you had a joke about a cloud and this reminded me of a rain cloud or the song raindrop and i do happen to have a very colorful umbrella here that i'm going to use for this next song friends at home if you have any dancing scarves or if you have any shakers that you'd like to shake along with this is a great time to get them out this is a song called raindrop my head. I looked above me. Here's what I said. The rain is coming. No time to waste. We better run. We better run. I felt a rain drop upon my head. I looked above me. Here's what I said. The rain is coming. No time to waste. We better run. We better run. I'm sure we'll be having a lot more showers this spring to help with our beautiful flowers and to help them grow. 
And so now, after that song, let's go ahead and hear another joke from our friend Cinnamon Bear. Hi, Cinnamon Bear. I have a joke for you. What kind of music do you listen to while fishing? Give up? Something catchy. <laughs> okay, your turn. Oh, good one. How long did it take the fish to go to the store? I don't know. How long? Salmon or eight minutes. <laughs> Do you have another one for me? Okay. Why did the salmon wear a suit and tie? I don't know. Why? It was sophisticated. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Cinnamon Bear. That was definitely a funny one. So now my next special guests are artist Jackie Land from Dallas, Texas, and her daughter Nova. And Jackie is the artist who made the beautiful cover to Magnolia Tree, as well as all of the artwork that will be featured in the video that you will see in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and check in with my friend Jackie and her daughter Nova. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Nova. Hi. So this is the segment where we get to meet the artist of Magnolia Tree. And so friends at home, this is Jackie Lan and her daughter Nova from Dallas, Texas. Yay. Hi. It's so great to meet you. Well, so great to introduce you <laughs> to, yeah. my, to my audience because you've been behind the scenes. We've been showing some pictures of Magnolia Tree and the beautiful, beautiful illustrations that you've made. And we haven't shown the video yet, so we're going to be building up to the video. But I just want to show our friends the beautiful cover of Magnolia Tree again so that they can see your beautiful artwork and all of the friends gathered underneath the Magnolia Tree. So we're going to be talking about that in just a minute. But before we do that, since Cinnamon Bear just told us another joke, I'm wondering if either of you have a joke that you can tell us. I have a joke. Joke. You do? <laughs> All right, Nova, go ahead. Wow. What's your joke? <clears throat> what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Hmm, I don't know. What? Nacho cheese. Oh, that was perfect. Thank you so much for sharing your jokes with us. So I want to talk a little bit with your mom, Nova, about her process of being an artist. So Jackie, can you tell our friends at home, what made you want to be an artist? Um, I think that I was probably born an artist. Um, what made me start pursuing it career wise was just getting laid off with COVID and, oh. um, you know, trying to find a way to make money from home. And I already had everything I needed because I already loved to make art to begin with. Um, so, so yeah. And then I, um, it's funny, I started making logos and then I started making a lot of homeschool logos. Apparently that's a wow. thing that parents really want like logos for their homeschools. And, and then, you know, Miss Susie saw the mini characters and yes. <laughs> wanted to feature them in her music videos. So that was Wonderful. how the movies were born. I love it. And also, um, how do you create your art? I want to show a little bit about the magnolia tree art. I know that the magnolia tree itself was inspired by a real magnolia tree. And this is in Julia's garden. And those are the pictures that I shared with you in the beginning when we were talking about creating the magnolia tree. And then you came up with these beautiful flowers. And how do you make these? What what program do you use? Um, I create everything in Procreate. Um, trees are one of those things, you know, like trees, people have, people people seem to be like emotionally bonded to trees. Yes. <laughs> and they'll be like, this is the tree that I want. And so the magnolia tree, I started out tracing a lot of it. Mm -hmm. So it is actually really um, kind of similar to the actual tree. Um, I think the base and stuff stayed a lot of the same. I might have um, added a little bit of, of height to it so that the kids could sit underneath it. But for the most part, I mean, it's the same tree. And then um, the 
flowers, you know, I'll just make like several different flowers and then I'll just duplicate them all over the tree. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't have to keep on making them. Um, but I just make sure that I get the ones that I want to duplicate really, really good so that, you know, I can keep on reproducing them. Yeah. And also I wanted to show um, a little clip without sound of the Magnolia Tree video. And in this clip, we can also see some birds. And afterwards, we'll talk a little bit about how you make these birds too. So here's our first look at Magnolia Tree. There's Julia under the tree. There's some of her friends coming over and there's the bird. There's the bird flying all the way up into the blue sky. And <laughs> I don't know if anybody noticed, but in that blue sky, there was a cloud that was the shape of an elephant. So let's go ahead and show that again. There's Julia. Look for the elephant shape. There's her friends under the magnolia tree. There's the bird. And the bird is flying up or looking up. Oh. And oh, did you see that cloud? So let's talk a little bit about how you make those birds, Jackie. How do you create the birds? Um, I use those birds a lot actually and um so i have i have them in a lot of different colors and i have um i have them in a couple different sections and i just change the colors as i need to um so initially of course i just you looked at a lot of birds and yeah <laughs> created the little birds and um to land on like a windowsill that was what they were originally for and um and yeah, I, I like to change their color and use them for different things because they're just they're just super cute. They're and super cute. They're <laughs> super cute. And here's a little video clip of how Jackie creates her birds on Procreate. you can change the colors or change their their feathers yes well making videos like that takes a lot of practice <laughs> and <laughs> I probably recorded it like 20 times or so to get it to be that perfect <laughs> and that's wonderful because you can tell our friends at home that it does take a lot of practice it to does. get to be able to draw that quickly <laughs> it does yes um but yeah yeah you um the, the easiest way I think I think the best part of pro procreate in digital artwork is that you can use layers so you can yes. um, just come if you need to make the wing perfect you can just completely remove the wing from the body yes, yes. <laughs> and make it perfect and then attach it back as opposed to drawing on paper where you just have to erase a bunch of times yes. and that's what's fun about digital artwork I love that and let's go ahead and introduce some of the characters of the video this is this is Julia and now Julia was based on her real character, Julia, who is here. And that's Julia with Louis the dog. And Louis the dog is also a character in the video. Let's go ahead and see if we can find Louis right there. Oh, there's Louis. <laughs> Louis is a petite miniature golden doodle who is two years old and filled with energy. He likes to run and jump and play. He is always happy to see you and will likely want to sit on your lap. And there is another dog who's in the video and it's this one over here penny and there's penny penny is a miniature dachshund who is eight years old and loves to play ball and take naps in the sun she is always ready to cuddle and give kisses on your nose she is very <laughs> loyal and loving so and she is she really is and now i want to introduce nova so this is nova and i'm wondering jackie would you read nova's bio yeah 
Um, Nova is six years old. She's from Texas. She loves to play dress up and put on makeup and makeup dances. And she has a boxer named Granger. They are best friends and she can always be found exploring the backyard. She is artistic, cheerful, and loyal. Ah, <laughs> and that's so true, Nova. And that, I think that also was based on a picture of you, Nova, that I have here. And I think you're showing that you're six. <laughs> That was her birthday photo shoot. It's a tradition now. Uh, I love that. I love that. Let's introduce some other characters. So here's, let's see. Did we show Julia? Julia is six years old and lives in Brooklyn, New York. I love unicorns and spending time with my dogs, Louie and Penny. I am a bilingual Spanish-English student and like to ice skate. I am friendly, kind, outgoing, and I love to play with all my friends under my magnolia tree. Stick around and meet all of my buddies. And there are a lot of buddies. And I wanted to introduce Jared. And Jackie, would you like to read Jared's bio? Sure. Jared is five years old. <clears throat> Excuse me. He lives in New Jersey. He loves to play soccer and is learning how to play piano. He can learn new dances very quickly. And he teaches his friends. And he can always be found climbing trees. He is courageous, smart, and never gives up. I don't know if I told you that I actually made Jared after another little kid. Too. Oh my gosh. Um, he is grown now. He's engaged, oh. but he was, I nannied him and that he. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't was, know that. Yes. He was one of my, he was one of my favorite kids. I mean, all the kids I nannied were pretty much my favorite kids because they're all so great. But yeah, he, um, he, he was very, very good at dancing. So I decided to use him even when I started working. That's perfect. He would, he with these amazing dances when he was like nine. So oh my gosh. Yeah, Jared is actually a real, a real boy too. I love that. I love that so much. And we have two other friends. We have Luna and Vega, who are sisters, and they are based on real kids, too. And I think I even have a picture right here of Luna. And there's <laughs> Luna. She looks just like her mini. And Vega, look at Vega, and even wearing that outfit with the beautiful rainbow skirt. I just love that. I love that so much. Let's introduce a couple more friends. This is Andy. Andy is eight years old. He lives in Seattle. He loves to sing and play violin. He often cooks with his grandma and hopes to become a chef when he grows up. He can always be found trying to come up with new recipes. He is silly, smart, and kind to others. Ah, Andy is a great <laughs> character on Magnolia Tree. I love that he loves to cook with his grandma. <laughs> yes. That's that's actually something that I used to love to do as a girl, is cook with my grandma too. I wish I still love to cook, but I really <laughs> don't. <laughs> Here's another friend. Here's John V. Do you want to read? go ahead and read John V's bio? Yeah, John V is seven years old. She's from Chicago. She loves to read and write. She has a vivid imagination and loves to visit local museums and learn new things. She can always be found playing guitar and writing letters to her family, and she is thoughtful, silly, and trustworthy. Aw, wonderful. <laughs> and when we show the video, friends should look out for John B., who is playing the guitar yeah. in the video. So we'll see that in just a second. We have another friend, Reese. Reese is eight years old. They're from California. They are learning how to surf. They love theater and set design. They are an excellent singer and prefer musicals the most. They can always be seen writing new skits. They are witty, inquisitive, and fearless. Thank you, Reese. <laughs> Reese with the boots. Yes, Reese with the boots, <laughs> with the Uggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and let's see. We have, let's do one more friend that we haven't introduced. And actually, this might be all of them. I think Jordan. Here we go. Do you want to read Jordan's bio? Sure. Uh, Jordan is five years old. He is from Arizona. He enjoys hiking and exploring the mountains with his brothers, and he is an excellent fisherman and has caught many fish. He can always be found camping and learning new survival skills. He is adventurous, curious, and happy. Aw, Jordan. And, you know, we have to just keep going. I think we have to introduce our last friend, and this <laughs> friend is is Leora. And Leora is seven years old. She lives in New York and loves to explore the city. She likes to draw and dance. She loves fashion and often makes clothes for her dolls. She can always be seen standing up for social justice. She is spirited, creative, sensitive, and incredibly persistent. And Leora was also featured on my Sing with Susie show 
a couple months back doing some kind things for others on Kindness Corner, where she made um, stuffies to sell and raise money for an animal shelter up in Kerhonkson, New York. So Leora is also based on a real character. Yes. So great. Well, I think... Oh, I know. There was one more thing that I wanted to talk about, Jackie. And when we were creating the video together and collaborating, one thing that came up that this was a real tree based on a Brooklyn street. And we wanted to talk a little bit about the backgrounds, the beautiful backgrounds that friends will see in the video. And here is actually the street <laughs> that Julia lives on. And you beautifully captured the Brooklyn brownstones and the wonderful fence that is actually the actual rod iron fence. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? <laughs> yes, I just traced it again with the layers, you know, just tracing it, tracing it perfectly and then just duplicating it a lot. I think that I probably traced like several segments of it to make it look very detailed. Um, that was so much fun. I really, really liked that part uh, of the video, making the neighborhood. I was, it was definitely, um, that and the New York City skyline, I think, were my favorite yes. thing. Um, we have this one here. Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and, and then this one is actually the view from Brooklyn. So you mm -hmm. can see the Brooklyn Bridge to downtown and midtown. And it's just gorgeous. I just love these skylines so much. They could Ooh. be my favorite things on the video. So yeah, I, I, like to, I like to mix patterns. <laughs> I love it. I so love how colorful is everything good. is. Yeah. Yeah, they were they were super fun. And I'm not from New York, so I geek out even more about it because of that. So <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much. I also wanted to tell everyone at home that Jackie sent her artwork to our animator, Alcides Urusha from Parada Iluna. And Alcides was in at the time, I think he was in Venezuela Venezuela. Now he's in Colombia and he put together and animated the beautiful video from afar. So this was mm -hmm. a big remote project that we collaborated on and worked on together. So thank you so much, Jackie, for, for being here and talking about the process of Magnolia Tree. Thank you, Nova, for coming also on the show and telling us our jokes. And if anybody at home would like to find out more about you, Jackie, they can find you at your Etsy shop. All right. Sounds good. Yay. Thank you so much. <laughs> now we're going to show everyone our beautiful collaborative efforts of the video of Magnolia Tree. So we'll see you another day. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie and Nova. And now, friends, as promised, here is our brand new music video, Magnolia Tree. Would you like to sit with me under my magnolia tree? The leaves are green, the flowers are pink, and the sky is blue. Take my hand and come with me. Under my magnolia tree, we can jump and play and laugh all day, just me and you. Magnolia tree, magnolia tree, when will we see? Your beauty blooms just once a year, so would you like to sit with me? Magnolia 
Friends, I hope you enjoyed Magnolia Tree. That was created by artist Jackie Land and animator Alcides Urusha from Parada Iluna. The song was written with my son Sebastian and co-produced by Greg Mayo and Dan Weiner. And thank you for joining me on Magnolia Tree and our celebration of spring. And so now, after that song, let's go ahead and hear another joke from our friend, Cinnamon Bear. Hi, Cinnamon Bear. I see you're in your astronaut costume. You know, that reminds me. I have a joke. Would you like to hear it? Okay. Why did the sun go to school? Give up? To get brighter. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have one for me? Okay. All right, here we go. Well, this is kind of a long one. Okay, here we go. A man walks into a restaurant and says, do you serve crabs here? And the waiter says, sure, we serve anyone. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. Thank you, Cinnamon Bear. I have one last song for you, and this song is called Can You Feel the Power? And the, the message of this song is that we all have the power inside to do good things for each other and to put positive energy into the world and really help lift each other up and help make this world a better place. So if you feel like it, go ahead and stand up on your feet, get some dancing scarves ready, get your hands ready to clap. This is Can You Feel the Power? Get it. 
inspire, don't wait, and don't hesitate. If we can't devour, that's your superpower. Thank you so much, everybody. My name is Susie Shelton. This has been BPL Presents Magnolia Tree, a celebration of spring and friendship. And thank you to my special guests, Little Miss Ann from Chicago and artist Jackie Land and her daughter Nova from Dallas, Texas. Thank you to Cinnamon Bear. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye, everybody.